I'm Vivian. Welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau, which I share with my husband Simon, our delightful daughter Isabella, and our adorable pets. Join us this holiday season for chateau worthy Christmas inspiration as we explore special destinations see lavish decorations, cook extra festive food, listen to magical music, prepare our own chateau for Christmas, and, of course, share plenty of chateau love. Hello everyone and welcome back to Chateau Love. I'm still in New York City and tonight we are taking you to see some of the most famous Christmas sites here in New York. Come and join us for some Christmas inspiration, Christmas fun before I head back to France where we will then continue with our series of all things Christmassy throughout Europe, throughout our travels and of course at our chateau. Come on Sally, hurry up. We're gonna be late for the plaza. You're like, you're the one who keeps stopping to pull your camera out. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me to hurry up. I know, but look at that skyline. Walking in New York, there is nothing that can compare with it. Not even Paris or London. Yes, you heard me say it. Isn't it wonderful? Here we are, but where do we begin? Here we are just at the edge of Central Park. And of course we are celebrating Christmas, but it is also Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Well, while Vivian is in New York, I thought I'd come to Amboise and see what they're doing with the decorations here for Christmas. And uh, of course, there's an accordionist playing <laughs> its French music uh, just over there. So let's go up to, up to the uh, towards the chateau, which is all dark at the moment, and let's see what they've done. They've made some beautiful lights for these trees, all on the left. decorating ideas but really we're just using that as an excuse I think to go get a drink. <laughs> <Perhaps>. <laughs> Come on Sally. <laughs> I think it's gonna be here soon. We have just entered the lobby of the plaza. Father Christmas is here, how marvelous. But we're here for decorating inspirations and here's their tree, all in white. Giant baubles with gold. Absolutely lovely. Here are many versions of the same trees. All in white and gold. It's just stunning in here, isn't it? Here we are in another part of the plaza. 
where they've decorated their balustrade, which is something I'm going to do as soon as we get home at the chateau. And I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do it this year, but this is very pretty. And giant wreaths on the outside. And the bar, Sally, how can we keep finding ourselves next to the bar? <laughs> if I stop filming, maybe we can actually get a drink. Possibly, yeah. Speak, angels sing from above. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. <laughs> I like this hat, so I may take it. You can't have that hat. I've had that hat for 15 years. I don't care. I bought it on Atlantic Avenue. It's a great hat. Isn't it? Yeah, I've got one like this with the Irish colors. It could be your own piece. Could be. So we learned a great many things about Father Christmas at the Plaza Hotel. Apparently, he's Irish, really, really likes hats, and not just red and white ones. And also, he's a little bit flirty. Don't tell Mrs. Claus. I'm going to take you into Bergdorf Goodman because I've spotted the Christmas tree and I think it's going to give us some more really good inspiration. This tree is splendid. The foliage, real instruments, and animals have been spray painted white and gold. And it's a very harmonious mix. Also very taken with these garlands which have been created in the same way. Normally I find monochrome Christmas decorations to be quite boring, but the matte finish gives this a different feel. Okay, I'm not here to go shopping, but I just can't help it. If you're looking for some gift inspirations, I think a lot of these things would suit the bill quite nicely. I love that golden gown and a nice pair of gold Manolo Blahniks. And now the fun really begins. We are going to check out the store windows on Fifth Avenue in New York. Every year, a stunning display. Here we are outside of Bergdorf Goodman, which is 122 years old, founded in 1899. And here we have a very interesting black and white display, but I love it because it features lots of animals, but especially little white dogs that look like Samoyeds, like our Samoyed. This window is a candy cane riot of 70s glam meets Mozart. Blue and gold celestial inspirations with Galileo. Soon we're taking you somewhere for tropical Christmas inspirations and so this window is perfect. It is already getting me in the mood for my caftans and bathing suits. Last but not least, a hot pink under the sea biker mermaid extravaganza. Well, look at this, they've made a very charming walk of all the trees and the decorations and they've put deer in here and they've got a little chair further up to sit down. But look how pretty it is. University Club, which is a private club, and I'm dying to go inside because look at that ceiling. This place is absolutely spectacular, and I'm not allowed to go inside because I'm not a member. A very famous New Yorker once said, I would never want to be a member of any club that would have me, but that's not actually true. I would like to very much to be a member of this club and go inside and have a cup of tea in there right this minute, or perhaps something a little bit stronger. I wanted to show you this because it just caught my eye. It's right out here in front of a Chateau d'Amboise. Look at this, this is a holly bush that has been topiaried. Isn't it pretty? Saxon 
Fifth Avenue windows. This one looks like great inspiration for the Carnival of Venice. Pure 80s drama, I love it. Dreaming of a holiday under the rainbow. Simon, this one's for you. Dreaming of a holiday on the beach with a sailboat. We are definitely getting in the holiday spirit. A little bit of chic goth Christmas. And girls just wanna have fun. I believe I have felt just like her after many a party. And the famous toy store, FAO Schwartz. Well, it's not Saks Fifth Avenue in New York, but We've got a pretty good window display here in Amboise, all Christmassy. Got a little polar bear ready to go. Yeah, some nice uh, wines, some nice sweets and some deer. Look at the little uh, snow reindeer. And of course our favorite squirrels. Oh, look at this. You see, look how pretty all this is here. different olive oils and uh, a little present with candy canes on it. Can you kiss me heaven sighs and no goes And no trip down Fifth Avenue would be complete without popping into St. Patrick's Cathedral, the largest Gothic revival cathedral in North America, and it has architecture to rival the greatest churches in Europe. But I'm here for a little bit more Christmas inspiration in addition to seeing this sublime building. I've heard that they have a very beautiful nativity scene. This nativity scene was carved in Ortisei, Italy, but I am here because it's got one particular star, in addition to the baby Jesus, of course, and that is the nativity dog. Yes, you heard me correctly. His name is Lexington, and he is modeled after a golden retriever, also carved in the same Demet art studio in Ortisei. As you know, we adore dogs, and in addition to the happy camel, He's a wonderful part of this crash. It's not the plaza, but I've popped into a little pizza restaurant here in Amboise and uh, just have a look around. A lovely setting in the ancient stone. And just have a look at this over here. So that's an actual wood fired oven. It's pretty cool, huh? I wonder if I could get one of those in the kitchen at home.
here we are in Rockefeller Center in front of the storied tree, the incredible tree that we've all been hearing about. They have not yet turned the lights on, but I think it's really beautiful to see it without all the lights on it. It's just magical. be the holiday season at Rockefeller Center without ice skating. As much as I would love to go down there and join them, we still have a little while longer to show you some more New York Christmas inspirations. said she's going to drag me by the hair down into the subway because I keep getting so excited and won't stop filming wherever we go. And I'm hungry. But it's Radio City Music Hall, Sally. Yes, it is. <laughs> These are the perils of being friends with a vlogger because I want to share everything that I see with you guys, but it can be kind of annoying for the people that are out with me. <laughs> right, Sally? <laughs> <laughs> You're a good sport, my friend. Close my 